Oh, hello there. And how are you doing? Oh, I'm glad to hear it. And look at me. So am I. I'm still alive and kicking. Well, alive. Would you take one out of two? Why not? <laughs> well, it's a dull, grey, rainy, wintry type of day outside. So, I'm inside anyway and I am plodding along getting my simulator all back to working order again. Let me show you where I'm at and what's been happening. Here you can see all of the bits and pieces are still inside the guest room. There's the pedals and the yokes are over there on the side and behind it you can see the throttle quadrant. Everything is in such a mess. Thankfully, I have no guests. And here we are coming into the simulator room. Now look at all the room I've got here. Got a lot of room at the back there. More than I had before. I managed to get the simulator turned around. Took a couple of strong good lads to be able to do that. And of course I've got all of the main parts in, but as you can see, I'm still in the reconstruction phase. Now this is the back of one of the monitors. This is the monitor on the left hand side. This is the, you can see the stand and the bracket there. That is going to be the front monitor. That will be the main view, the external view. And the side little monitors that I had in those windows, of course, are now gone. And here's the main instrument panel. There are three monitors there, left, right and center. And there's the forward overhead. Didn't have to do anything with that, but there are, of course, wires to connect. You can see I've got the FMCs or, uh, in their place ready to be put in. Now here's a view on the right hand side. You can see it from this angle. And here's the right monitor. And looking again at the center monitor at the back there. Now let's have a look around the back and show you where all of the the plugs are. This is where all the wires are going to be coming out. I'm going to be having one computer at that side that you can see here and another computer at the far side. And between the two, I'm hoping that I can get everything running smoothly. I put a cover over the top of that center strut because of a reflection in the glass of the monitor, believe it or not. So that was a little extra thing I had to do. I've only got a few of the items plugged in. There's a lot of things to plug in. I got a new NAV unit from Open Cockpits, that's the one on the right, which I've installed. So this is my radio panel now. Pretty much complete. And here are the FMCs or CDUs. And screws are everywhere. <laughs> Cables are everywhere. I hope I can remember how everything goes back together again. It's 
So, pretty much put together. So, it's coming along. It's coming along. And this is Flight 1. Now, this is the name I've given to this particular computer. This is the one that will be running the main instrument panel and all of the USBs, etc. And six monitors. This is the one that is Flight 2. This will be running the external views. That's the three large screens. At least that is the, the plan. And it's joined three graphic cards in that one, joined with an SLI. And those are the three SSD drives I've got in there. It, both of them are identical motherboards, X99s. With as fast a processor I could get and 32 gigabytes of RAM. There you can see the SLI and it's going to be running three monitors. So there you have it. That's the state of the simulator as it is today. I'm moving along. I've got the simulator actually in its final place now, so it's just a matter of screwing everything down and reassembling all the parts. Bit by bit I will be adding the yokes and the, uh, the pedals, the throttle quadrant will go in there and then it will be a case of connecting everything up, throwing the power switch, hoping I don't blow the fuses and start the simulator. We'll have to see. But the whole idea of course is making the illusion look as real as possible. So that's just a short update to show you where I'm at and I hope that you are, all, you are all keeping well. Good. Stay well. Stay safe. I'll catch up with you on the next time.